Good morning. Welcome, Tiger fans, to Tournament Basketball. We're here on KGRN this morning following the Grinnell Tigers down that tournament trail. It's the AA District Finals against Carlisle's Wildcats. Thermogas Company of Grinnell and Montezuma. Grinnell Federal Savings and Loan. Your area pioneer seed dealers, George Axmere of Malcolm and Eugene Lang of Grinnell. Malcolm Stone Company of Grinnell. Brown Cupid in downtown Grinnell and the Longhorn Restaurant in Grinnell making it all possible. Carlisle comes in with a tournament trail of one game. They drew a bye in the first round, played Pella Christian on Thursday night. They beat Pella Christian in double overtime to find their way here into the district finals. The Grinnell tournament trail saw a first round victory over Colfax Mingo and then a victory Thursday night over Nevada, a thriller 62 to 60. And here their third game in tournament play. Carlisle, coached by Bruce Hookie. The Wildcats are 13 and 6 on the season. They finished 10 and 4 in the heart of Iowa Conference. Number three, that was just one spot above or ahead of the Nevada's Cubs. The Grinnell Tigers, on the other hand, are now 9 and 11 on the season. They finished 6 and 8 in the South Central Conference, the number four team. Offensively, Carlisle puts in 68. Grinnell Tigers are at 60.16 points a game. Defensively, Carlisle gives up 49 points a game, while the Tigers give up 61.31 points per contest. Grant and Backhoe of Rural Grinnell, Grinnell Travel Center, Grinnell Firestone, Highway 6 East in Grinnell, and Dave Eiler Construction of Grinnell making our broadcast possible. We'll be back to take a look at the starting lineups for these two ball clubs. Double A District Finals right after we pause for this word from one of those tournament boosters. Let's take a look at Carlisle's starting lineup. At the guards will be Joe Marr, a 5'9 senior, averaging four points per game. David Snodhurst, a 5'9 junior, averaging 10 points a game and three and a half assists. The center is Dan Cruz. He's 6'5", a senior, averaging 18 points and nine rebounds. The forwards are Jim Peterson, a 6'3", junior. He averages 12 points and six and a half rebounds. And Andre, Andy Pickering, a six-foot junior, averaging seven points and five assists. The ba bench strength will probably be Eric Kennedy, a 6'2", junior, and David Kester, a 5'9", junior. And there's a look at the Wildcats. Now let's take a look at the Grinnell Tigers. Coach Steve Kriegel will be picking from uh, a host of guards. He has four guards that have seen a lot of action. The starters have been Matt Doty, a 5'9", junior, and Mark Brown, a 5'6", senior. Matt Doty averages 7.53 points per game. Mark Brown averages six points a game. There are two guards, though, that come off the bench. Dan Tony, a 5'11", junior, with an average of 3.12 points per game. And Aaron Johnson, a six-foot senior, he averages 2.11 points per contest. Now the starting center will be Jeff Collum, a 6'2", senior, averaging 13.95 points a game. Mark Liebeck at a forward, 6'3", senior, averaging 14.53 points per contest. And the other forward will be Dave Harris, a 5'11", junior, averaging 6.53 points per game. And the first two off the bench in that front line, D.J. Lindquist, a 6'4", junior, averaging 3.78 points per contest. And Doug Mendrup, averaging 2.67 points per game. There's a look at the starting lineup for both of these two ball clubs. We'll be back with a tip up after this word from one of those proud Tiger boosters. Well, the introductions have been made. We're ready for basketball. Out the jump at center circle will be Dan Cruz for the Carlisle Wildcats. And there will be Jeff Collin for the Grinnell Tigers. All set. Officials still talking to the uh, players. One of the officials down getting the cheerleaders back off the floor. Now we're ready to go. Double A district finals. Ball is in the air and the tip goes to Carlisle. On the far side to David Snodhurst. Snodhurst with the ball and the Tigers pick him up. Over on the near side to Peterson. Peterson back out front. With it is Andy Pickering. Near side the jumper by Cruz. Up and won't go. Ball tipped around. Mark Brown comes out of there with it inside. And here come the Tigers. Push it ahead to Tony. Tony on the left side. Back out to Liebeck. Down to Tony. It's Matt Doty with the ball. On the near side to Harris. Harris bounces over to Brown. Brown in the paint. Jumper off the glass. No, two bouncer. Won't go on the rebound. Comes off to Dan Cruz. And up across the timeline comes Joe Marr. Marr going to try and set things up out front. 
Guarded by Doty. Out front with the ball. Around the Hornet comes. Shot is up on the way. No good by Snodhurst. Rebound to Lebeck. Well, both teams had a couple of shots at the bucket now. Matt Doty will bring the ball into the front court of play. Doty takes it up the middle. Bounces over. Harris goes down inside. And out of bounds. Column lost it inside along the baseline. It'll be played in over there by Dan Cruz, the big 6'5". Senior center, he'll bounce it in. Snodders almost has it knocked away by Brown. Back to Cruz, it's still in the backcourt. Now Cruz decides he's gonna bring it up. 6-5 up to the free throw line, the jumper is good. Dan Cruz, the big guy, makes it Carlisle two, Grinnell nothing. Here's a pass up to Doty into the front court of play. Doty brings it down on the right side and now comes back out. Doty bounces over to Brown. Brown on the wing, looks. Now inside to Lebeck, turns and fires, yes! Mark Lebeck puts it up and through, and it's all tied up 2-2. Tigers putting full court pressure on in the backcourt. It's Andy Pickering. Pickering in some trouble, now gets it ahead to Joe Marr, and Marr will set it back up. Pickering gets it over to Snodhurst. Snodhurst going to set up a play, now up to the free throw line. Turns around into the paint, up and good by David Snodhurst. 4-2, Carlisle's favor. Both teams playing some pressure. Column pushes it ahead to Doty. Doty will get it into the front court. And we're going to have a foul. Or an out of bounds. Going to say maybe Doty bounced it on the out of bounds line. That was it. Now it'll be in. And we're going to play it in again. Cruz will trigger it in for Carlisle. Now a lob comes in over on the far side to Peterson. Peterson dumps it back. Carlisle leads this one, four to two. Right up into the lane. Pass over on the near side. Peterson shot is up, won't go. Follow up shot on the weak side is good by Andy Pickering. Carlisle has a six to two lead. Tigers with the ball. Column gets it over to Doty. Doty back to Column. Now Brown has it in the front court. Bounces down along the baseline. Harris up, won't go. Had the layup from the left side, wouldn't go. Pass it ahead to Pickering. Pickering out front, near side. Snodhurst will take it all the way to the bucket. It's up and good. Snodhurst has another bucket. It's eight to two. Tigers getting it down court, but not putting it in the bucket. Column gets it up into the front court. Over to Doty. Doty on the near side now. Going to bring it back out front. Brown bounces down to Harris. Harris looks inside. Back out, Column. Doty to Brown. Brown, high post to Column. Column. And we'll have a jump ball. Snodhurst reached in and did everything but tackle Column. And they called a jump ball. No fouls yet in the ball game. It'll be Tigers ball on alternate possession. Bring it in to Brown. Brown out front. Bounces over near side to Doty. Very aggressive zone for Carlisle. Tigers get trying to get used to it. Column puts it up. No, air ball. They were all over him again on the inside. Back up court comes David Snodhurst. Snodhurst between the circles. Now near side of Marr. Marr back out front to Pickering. Pickering over. Cruz will take it into the paint. All the way up and it goes. Dan Cruz puts it up and through. Carlisle just wants this more than the Tigers. And there's a timeout with 4.20 to go with a score. Carlisle 10, Grinnell 2. We'll be back with more basketball action after this word from one of those Tiger boosters. Well, the Tigers have talked it over. Carlisle with a 10-2 lead. Let's see if the Tigers can execute a little better than they have. Brown will bring it up into the front court. Take it over to Doty. Doty bounces down to Lebeck. Baseline up and good. Mark Lebeck has all four points for the Tigers. Dan Cruz with the ball. Cruz will dribble in the front court. Cruz will pick up the dribble after losing it down to Snodhurst. He'll pass over. Pickering has it on the wing. Pickering back out front to Snodhurst. David Snodhurst. And that should be an offensive foul. Snodhurst is just daring everybody to get in his way. That's the first foul. He just gave a forearm shiver on that one. We're going to see. This is going to be a physical ball game, friends. 
346 to go. Brown will have it. He bounces over to Doty ahead to Column. Column down. He'll take it all the way underhanded and good. Jeff Column up and through. It's 10 to 6 now. A couple straight buckets from the Tigers. Things aren't looking quite as bleak. Pickering will bring it into the front court of play. Liebeck stops him. Dumps it off to Snodhurst now. Snodhurst near side to Joe Marr. Marr with it on the wing. Up front Pickering. Pickering shot is up and won't go. Tip up won't go. Cruz. Another tip up. Column finally brings it down. Doty will push it ahead. Here comes Doty. Going to take it in the paint. Takes it over to Brown. Brown on the wing. Tries to go inside to Liebeck. Liebeck back to Brown. Brown we're going to bring it across the top of the lane. Bounces off to Doty. Doty over to Harris. Harris on the wing on the left. Now to Brown. Brown takes it now off to Harris. Harris nothing there. Goes inside. Liebeck turns and fires. Yes! Liebeck has six points. It's 10 to 8. Tigers have three straight buckets now and it's a ball game once again. Snodhurst with it. Snodhurst to bring it into the front court. Down to the baseline. Snodhurst looks like he ought to be wrestling. Passes over to Cruz. It's up and good. Dan Cruz has six points. It's 12 to 8. Brown to Collum to Doty. Back to Collum to Brown. He'll bring it into the front court. Mark Brown with the ball. Takes a lob over to Doty. Doty on the wing, on the right. Down to Lebeck. Back out to Doty. Doty takes a shot. It's up and short. Gets his own rebound and brings it out of there. Doty, a nice job. Takes it to Collum. Collum turns. Yes! Jeff Collum has four points and it's 12 to 10. Bring the ball into Snodhurst in the backcourt for Carlisle. Carlisle bring it up across the timeline. Mark Brown comes up with a steal. And they'll call a foul on Brown. And the official was out of position on that one. First foul on Mark Brown. So it'll be inbounds. Pickering will bring it into the backcourt to Joe Marr. Marr, a minute 46 to go. Marr with it. Over to Pickering. They'll lob inside. It's batted away by Peterson. Back out to Pickering. Pickering going to drive down to the baseline. Back out. Stolen by Doty. Doty comes up with it. Here come the Tigers. A minute 30 to go. They can tie it up. Doty with the ball. Off to Liebeck. Liebeck on the wing. Liebeck takes a dribble. Out to Brown. Take it over to Column on the wing. Right side. Column back out. Doty top of the circle. Penetrates. No. Dumps it off. Brown shot up and won't go. Rebound comes off to Cruz. Cruz is going to bring it and walk it up into the front court of play. David Snodhurst with the ball. He'll push it near side to Marr. Joe Marr with it. Into the paint. Back out it goes to Pickering. Randy Pickering over to Snodhurst. He dumps it to Cruz. Cruz into trouble. And we've got fadeaway jumper by Snodhurst. It's up and won't go. Harris with a rebound. And here comes Matt Doty into the front court. Another chance for the Tigers to tie it up with 39 seconds to go here in your first quarter of play. Doty drives down. Nothing there. Back out front to Brown. Brown. A dribble and over to Doty. Doty looks as they try to bring some players through the middle. Nothing there. Harris will go into the paint. Stops. Puts it up. It's good. And we've got a foul called on Pickering. Bucket will count for Dave Harris. That's his first. Pickering will pick up his first foul in the ball game. Tigers have tied it up. Remember, this was 10 to 2. It's now 12 to 12. 21 seconds to go. And Harris will be at the free throw line to try for a three-point play. Harris hit 62.07 from that free throw line. His free throw is up and good. Tigers have the lead, 13 to 12. 20 seconds to go. Harris knocks it away from Pickering. Pickering lost that out of bounds. It's Tigers ball with 16 seconds. Good, tough defense down in the corner. And the Tigers have come back, outscoring Carlisle here, 11 to 2. Let's bring it in. Doty has it. We'll bring it up out front between the circles. 12 seconds, 11 seconds, 10. Doty with the ball. Now brings it over near side. We're going to have a foul on Joe Marr as Mark Brown set a screen and Marr just ran over him. That's the third foul on Joe Marr, or on the team. First on Joe Marr. Snodhurst has one and Pickering with one. There's seven seconds to go in the quarter. That's just a common foul. And the Tigers will play it in with seven. Liebeck will bring it in to Harris. 
Harris with the ball. Looking for help. Brown has it. Four seconds, three seconds. A three-pointer on the way. Won't go. Tip up. Won't go. And we'll have a foul on Lebeck. Well, that's only the first foul on Lebeck. The second team foul. So the quarter ends with the score. Grinnell, 13. And Carlisle, 12. We'll be back with the second quarter of play after this word from a Tiger booster. Ready to go with the second quarter. Grinnell leads this one 13 to 12 for the Tigers. Six for Mark Liebeck, four for Jeff Collum, and three for Dave Harris. It's all come from the front line for Carlisle. Four for David Snodder, six for Dan Cruz, and two for Andy Pickering. Carlisle will play it in. Andy Pickering on the near side will play it in. There's a ball passed in, and there's steal by Collum. It was a bad inbounds. Collum has it up to Matt Doty. Doty brings it up. Top of the circle over to Brown. Brown looks, nothing there. Out front to Harris. Harris has the ball knocked away. Now scoops it up. Out front to Doty. Doty with the ball over to Brown. Brown looking inside. Bounces out to Harris. Harris into the paint. It's up and good. They call a travel. 7.35 to go. That's a turnover. The bucket won't count. And so it'll be... Carlisle's ball inbounds. It'll be Dan Cruz to trigger it in. Bring it in to Snodhurst in the backcourt. Snodhurst working against Brown. Brown and Snodhurst. And we call a turning the ball over on Snodhurst. Brown forced that one. He was dogging Snodhurst all the way up the court. And to turn a pivot, Snodhurst turned the ball over. So it'll be Tigers' ball. They lead it 13 to 12. Doty with the ball. Over to Brown. Now to Collum. Collum dribbles into the front court. Snodders back out to Brown, and here come the Tigers. Going to set it up now. Brown with the ball. Down the corner to Harris. Harris back out to Doty. Doty the jumper from out front. It won't go. The rebound to Cruz inside. Bring it off to Snodders. 7.05 to go. Carlisle with the ball up across the timeline. Near side. New face in there is Kester. He'll put it up. It's no good. Collum with the rebound. Kester really missed everything that time, and Doty will have it. Matt Doty takes it in the middle. He'll put it up. Yeah, it's short. Harris up and good. Harris puts it up and through. 15 to 12 now for the Tigers. 6.38 to go. Snodhurst brings it in the front court. Stops. Now to Cruz. Jumper up and won't go. Lebeck with a rebound. Lebeck dumps it off to Doty. And Matt Doty will bring it into the front court. A pass down to Harris over his fingertips. Just a little too hard. Tigers are trying to get it down to get a cheap one. And it's went out of bounds. Back into the ball game, Joe Marr. Bring it in to Snodhurst. Snodhurst has it in the back court. Snodhurst in the front court for Carlisle. It's 15-12. Over on the far side, Pickering goes into Cruz. Cruz shot, good. Dan Cruz has eight points. Doty works it up to Collin. Up to Harris. Harris on the wing. Back out front to Brown. Brown down to Lebeck. Goes out of bounds. It's going to be Carlisle's ball. They say it went off the fingertips of Mark Lebeck. DJ Lindquist getting ready to check in now. DJ coming in. Harris comes out. Kester back in the lineup. Cruz will play it in underneath the Tiger bucket. Carlisle with the ball. Joe Marr will bring it up into the front court. Pushes it near side to Kester. Kester goes inside. Knocked away by Lebeck. Drip it off to Brown. Here come the Tigers. They lead it 15-14. 5.39 to go. Brown. Gets it over to Liebeck. Liebeck, the jumper, no. Rims around, off to Cruz. Cruz gets it up to Kester. 5.28 to go. Kester gets it near side to Marr. Marr's out front. Bounce down to Pickering. Pickering on the right side of the lane. Now a lob over to Cruz. Cruz wheels down to the baseline. Blocked off. Pass over. Pickering shot. Kester's shot is up and no good. Knocked out of bounds by Cruz. It'll be Tigers ball. 5.08 on the clock. Glad to have you with us here on KGRN 1410 in Grinnell, Iowa. Double A District Finals. 
Bring it up to Lebeck. Lebeck in the front court. He's tripped. They don't call a foul, and it's Carlisle's ball. Carlisle scooped up the loose one. And out front, it's Joe Marr. Marr takes it over on the far side. Pickering inside to Cruz. Back out front. Hit the paint. Marr drug a foot. He traveled. Three seconds. Too much time in the lane. Tigers will get it right back. Column will play it into Brown. Mark Brown will just dribble it up into the front court of play. He's guarded by Kester. Now Brown gets it over to Doty. Doty to Lindquist. Lindquist back out to Doty. Doty has it top of the circle, and the Tigers will start to set up their offense. Bounce it over to Brown on the wing left side. Out front to Liebeck. Liebeck at the free throw line. Down to Brown. Brown looks inside. Out front it comes to Doty. Doty down to Liebeck along the baseline, and he lost the handle. Went to put it up, and it slipped out of his hand. Up in the front court. Here comes Kester. 15-14. Tigers with the lead. Carlisle with the ball. Bounce it over into the paint. Peterson puts it up. It's good. Jim Peterson gets his first bucket. Carlisle goes up by a point. 16-15. Over to Column. Column ahead to Doty. Doty drives down. Now turns around over to Brown. Brown looking inside. Pass over to Liebeck into DJ. Up and good. DJ Lindquist puts it up and through. 17-16. 3.40 to go in the half. Tigers favor. In the backcourt, Kester has it. Kester, blocked off by Brown. 10 seconds. Tigers kept him in the backcourt. It'll be Tigers ball. 3.34 to go. Let's call time in for this word from a Tiger booster. On the near side, Column will play it in. In it comes to Brown. Brown top of the circle. Looking for help over to Doty. Doty back out to Brown. Brown takes it down to Doty in the corner on the left. Back out front. Liebeck has it out front. Down to Brown. They go in. DJ Lindquist up and no. Won't go. Rebound comes off of there. I think that was Peterson. He dumps it off to Snodhurst. Snodhurst out front. Brings it near side. Kester with the ball. Kester guarded by Doty. Back out to Pickering. Liebeck's on him. Pickering bounces over far side. They go inside. Cruz up and good. Can't get the ball inside. 6'5 is just too tall in there. 18 17. Carlisle has the lead. Tigers with the ball. And Doty will bring it into the front court of play. Column in the corner. Column out to Brown. Mark Brown high post to DJ Lindquist. Over to Doty. Doty on the wing. And we've got a foul kicking in there on Kester. David Kester trying to guard with his feet. That's the fourth team foul. Two minutes, 30 seconds on the clock. 18-17 the score. Carlisle leads. Tigers with the ball in their own front court. Four team fouls on Carlisle. Only two on the Tigers. Brown with the inbounds. Takes it out. Top of the circle. Over to Doty. Doty bout to Brown. Down the corner to Liebeck. Liebeck out front to Doty. Around to Brown. Cross court to Liebeck. Liebeck, top of the lane. Column has it stolen away by Cruz. Column had the ball down around his waist. Cruz just reached out and grabbed it. Snodders over to Cruz. Cruz, the shot. It's good. Cruz is a fine basketball player. He's got 12 points already, and it's 2017. Carlisle with a three point lead. Push it up to Doty. Ahead to Column. Column with the ball, out front. Doty over to Brown. Brown looks to the high post, nothing there. Now Brown takes it, over. Doty has it in the air, now brings it down. Column tries to take it into the paint. He turns and foul by Snodhurst. That's the second foul on Snodhurst. That's a 15 foul, so we're gonna shoot some free throws here in the next minute and 31 seconds. Joe Marr comes in, Dan Tony checks in. Mark Brown goes out, and so does David Snodhurst. It's free throw time for Jeff Collum. Jeff hits 80.25% at the free throw line. He has not been to the free throw line in the ball game. The only player up there was Dave Harris, and he converted a three-point play. 
Collins free throw is up and good. Jeff makes it 20 to 18. And Jeff could make it 20 to 19 here with a minute 31 to go. Collum comes up to the line, puts that toe down, puts the shot up, and it's good. 2019, Carlisle with a lead, a minute 31 to go. Bringing it, bounce into Joe Marr. Marr in the backcourt, gets it back to Pickering. Pickering, gonna call a timeout with a minute 21 to go as Carlisle got trapped in the backcourt again. And rather than turn the ball over, called a timeout. There's a minute 24 to go. Let's call time in for this word from one of those basketball boosters. Minute 24 to go here in your first half of play. Carlisle will play it in underneath the Tiger bucket. Bring it in to Cruz. Cruz in the backcourt. Everybody heads up court and Cruz will bring it up himself. Cruz up to the free throw line. Dumps it off. Peterson shot is up and in and out. Rebound comes down to Tony. Tony will bring it in the front court of play. Going to drive right down to the bucket up and good. And Tony puts it up and through. Tigers take the lead, 21 to 20. In the backcourt, Cruz has it, and they're having the big guy bring it up now. Cruz out on the point, 52 seconds. Pass it over to Joe Marr. Marr on the right wing, goes inside the Cruz. Blocked in there by DJ Lindquist. Peterson up and good. Peterson got the garbage there. It's 22-21, pass it ahead, goes to DJ Lindquist, back to Tony. Tony drives down the baseline, underneath. Bounces it out to Doty, 28 seconds to go. High post to Lindquist. Tony, over, lead back, it's up, it's good! Tigers, 23. Carlisle, 22, 16 seconds to go. Cruz with the ball. Cruz will drive down. Blocked off, nine seconds, eight seconds. Cruz with the ball out front. Near side to Kester. Kester, three seconds, two seconds, one seconds. Cruz, the long one, won't go. And at half, it's Grinnell, 23. Carlisle, 22. They'll be back to take a look at that first half after this word for one of those Tiger Boosters. Let's take a look at the scoring here for Carlisle with 22 points. 12 points for Dan Cruz. No one else in double figures. You got Jim Peterson with four, David Snodhurst with four, Andy Pickering with two points. For Grinnell, you've got eight points for Mark Liebeck, six for Jeff Collum, five for Dave Harris, and then two each for Dan Tony and for DJ Lindquist. It's 23 to 22 here at halftime. Our broadcast brought to you by Thermogas Company of Grinnell and Montezuma, Grinnell Federal Savings and Loan, your area pioneer seed dealers, George Axmir of Malcolm and Eugene Lang of Grinnell, Malcolm Stone Company of Grinnell, and Brown Shoe Fit in downtown Grinnell. In the first half, the Grinnell Tigers hit 10 of 20 shots for 50%. Carlisle hit 11 of 23 for 47.83%. The Longhorn Restaurant in Grinnell, Grattan Backhoe of Rural Grinnell, Grinnell Travel Center, Grinnell Firestone on Highway 6 East in Grinnell, and Dave Heilert Construction of Grinnell, Pleased to be a part of our broadcast today. Tigers 23, the Wildcats 22 here at halftime. We're going to send you back to our studios for five minutes of the latest news. This is KGRN 1410 in Grinnell, Iowa. Welcome back now to the second half of basketball action. The Grinnell Tigers lead the Carlisle Wildcats 23 to 22 here at halftime. Our broadcast brought to you by Dave Eilert Construction of Grinnell. Grinnell Firestone, Highway 6 east of Grinnell. Grinnell Travel Center, Grattan Backhoe of Rural Grinnell, and the Longhorn Restaurant in Grinnell. At the end of the first quarter, Grinnell led it 13 to 12, but that was only after uh, an 11 to 2 spurt by the Tigers. The Tigers started out on the cold side, looked up at the board, and it was 10 to 2. Called a timeout, then came back and took the lead by a score of 12 to 10, and so they put a little spurt on there and uh, came back and led it at the quarter 13 to 12. Here at halftime it's 23 to 22. Brown Jupiter in downtown Grinnell. Malcolm Stone Company of Grinnell. Your area pioneer seed dealers George Axmere of Malcolm and Eugene Lang of Grinnell. Grinnell Federal Savings and Loan and Thermogas Company of Grinnell and Montezuma making our broadcast possible. Tigers will get the ball to start the second half of play. Over on the near side Jeff Collum will play it in. 
And Mark Brown will bring it up across the midstripe. Brown with the ball near side to Doty. Doty going to take it out front to Harris on the point around the Brown. Brown on the right side. Looking inside. Nothing there. Doty near side to Harris. Harris out front to Brown. Brown with the ball to Harris on the wing. Shot is up. No. Won't go. Doty has the ball on the far side as they try to trap him in the corner. Ball goes in to Lee Beck. No. Missed it. Brown scoops it up out front. The jumper. It's up and in and out. Column up. And puts it up, it's good, and he draws the foul. Foul is gonna be on Jim Peterson, his first. And Jeff Collum gets the bucket. That is his eighth point in the ball game. And he'll go up with a try at a three point play. Jeff is two for two at that free throw line. 7.27 to go here in your third quarter. Free throw is up, it's good. 26-22, a four-point lead for the Tigers now. With the ball, it's Cruz. They started using the big 6-5 man to bring the ball up court. Cruz will dump it back now to Snodders. Snodders between the circles. Going to wheel in there, takes the jumper in and out. Rebound comes down to Doty. Here come the Tigers in the front court. Matt Doty with the ball. Doty back out to Brown. Brown looks inside. Now Doty has it back to Brown. Brown starts to dribble up to the top of the circle. Brown, right side of the lane, over to Doty. Doty, inside, no. Goes to the floor, we'll have a jump ball. That'll be Carlisle's ball. Doty took it into the lane, probably should have taken the shot. Instead, tried to bounce it into trouble. Had to scramble for it. And on the inbounds, Lebeck kicks it, so it'll be right back as Pickering will try and play it in. Pickering brings it into Cruz. Tigers lead this one, 26-22. Cruz gonna bring it into the front court of play. Dumps it off. Snodhurst, Snodhurst over to Pickering. They go to Cruz, his shot is good. Cruz is a fine basketball player, 14 points. 26-22. Brown with the ball. Flips it over to Doty, and Doty will bring it into the front court of play. They trap Doty, but he gets it up to Harris. Harris down to Lebeck. Lebeck out front to Column. The jumper is short. Right into Cruz's hands, and Carlisle has a chance to tie it up now. In the front court. Cruz dumps it off to Joe Marr. Marr with the ball. Bounces down to Pickering. Lost it for a second. Guarded by Lebeck. Pickering out front. Snothurst. 5.55 to go in the third quarter. Pickering has it. They go inside. Tipped out of there by Lebeck. It'll be Carlisle's ball. 26-24, Tigers with a two-point lead. Play the ball out front to Snodhurst. Three-point, no, doesn't take it. Dumped it off to Marr. Boy, it looked like he was winding up for a three-pointer there. Marr out between the circles. Tigers in a 2-3 zone. Back out front it comes. Marr flips it over to Pickering. Pickering out front to Marr. Marr the jumper from 14, drains it. Joe Marr gets his first bucket and it's all tied up. Check that, it's all tied up. 26-26. Near side to Lebeck. Lebeck out front. Cross court pass. Doty, he'll put it up. It's a little off. Rebound to Harris. Harris will bring it out of there. Harris back out front to Doty. Doty back in the paint, they trip him. And a foul on Marr. Well, there's a lot of tripping going on here. Marr picks up his second foul. 5.03 on the clock. Tigers will play it in. That is the second team foul on Carlisle. Tigers only have two fouls in the whole ball game so far. Play it in to Harris. Harris dumps it off to Lebeck. Out front to Doty. Doty over to Brown. Brown, high post. Lebeck's jumper rims around. Inside Pickering has the rebound. It's all tied up, 26 apiece. And here comes Carlisle with a chance to take the lead. Marr out front. Brings it into the paint. Bounces it over to Pickering. Pickering. Cross court pass to Cruz. Cruz, 16 feet. Yes. Cruz can hit from about anywhere he wants to. Four minutes, 30 seconds to go. Carlisle leads it 28-26. Doty with the ball. We'll bring it into the front court. Doty. 
Bounces down to Liebeck. Liebeck bounces into trouble. Somebody kicked it. It'll be Tigers ball. DJ Lindquist checks in. Dave Harris goes out. Tigers trail here and will need to convert this time down the court to tie it up. Liebeck to play it in. Ball is tipped. DJ Lindquist tips it. Don't eat. Nope. It's not Hurst, has it? Terrible inbounds play there. Up to Snodhurst. Snodhurst going to dribble into the front court. Knocked away by Brown. They're going to call a foul on Brown. Brown picks up foul number two. That is only the third team foul in the ball game for the Tigers. First here in the second half. 28-26. Carlisle will have the ball. 4.08 on the clock. Bring it in to Peterson. And around it comes to Marr. Marr down to Snodhurst. They lob into Cruz. Cruz back out. Peterson, jumper, good. 30-26. Carlisle with the lead now. Tigers with the ball. Column to Brown. Brown out front. Tries to go into traffic and is tripped again. And another foul on Snodhurst. That's his third. Three minutes, 43 seconds to go. We're in third quarter play. Let's call time in for this word for one of those basketball boosters. Dan Tony comes into the lineup. Matt Doty goes out. Tony into Brown. Mark Brown with the ball. Back over now to Tony. Tony out front. Back to Lebeck. Lebeck tries to pass. It's knocked out of bounds. It'll be Tiger's ball. 3.33 on the clock. Liebeck will play it in. Tigers trail here by four. Out front. They take a high post into column. He'll put it to the bucket. It won't go. Off to Lindquist. Shot is good. DJ Lindquist gets his second bucket. Inbounds to Cruz. Cruz gets it up in the front court. Pass to Marr. Stolen by Brown. Got away from Marr. Here comes Mark Brown right back with it. Down to Liebeck. To Tony inside, column up and good! 30 to 30. Here comes Cruz. Cruz fires ahead to Peterson. Peterson up and good. Oh, beautiful play. Cruz, nice pass, Peterson. Nice move. 360 degree pivot. And here comes Tony in the front court. 32 30. Carlisle with the lead. Over to Column. Column to Brown. Bounce it out to Tony. Tony over to Brown. Brown, the jumper off the glass, won't go. Inside, DJ Lindquist, good. DJ has six. Tigers tie it up, 32-32. Kester with the ball. We'll dump it back to Marr. Marr has it, and will walk it up into the front court with 2.21 on the clock. Marr bounces down to Kester. He'll take the shot. It's off the heel. Column with a rebound. Dumps it off to Brown. 2.12 on the clock. Mark Brown in the front court, bounces down to Liebeck. Liebeck on the wing, out to Brown, high post to Column. His jumper, no! Rebound to Peterson. Two minutes on the clock in your third quarter, and it's 32 to 32. Up across the mid stripe, Joe Marr has the ball. Marr with it. Near side to Pickering. They go down to Cruz. Cruz turns and fires and scores. Dan Cruz has 18. Makes it look so easy. 34, 32, minute 40, pass to Tony. Tony tries to save it, and it's right back to Carlisle. Carlisle with a two-point lead here. In the front court, Joe Marr, back out front to Pickering. Pickering takes the screen, fade away, it's good. Andy Pickering has four points, 36-32. Push it ahead to Brown. Brown in the front court. Gets it down to Liebeck. Liebeck back out to Brown. A minute seven on the clock. Down to Liebeck. Liebeck baseline. Got tripped again. Shot was up. Wouldn't go. Column almost had it. Tony back in the paint over to Column. It's up and good. Column has 13. Cruz has it. Gets it back to Pickering. Pickering in the back court. Blocked off. In some trouble, up to Marr. Marr traveled, but he gets it in the front court. Gets it away to Cruz, Pickering, Peterson. 
Peterson got the bucket. 38-34. Two travels on that time up the court. Dump it over to Tony. Tony with the ball. Over to Lebeck. They go into DJ Lindquist. Turns and shoots. It's good. And a foul on Joe Marr. And Marr gets his third foul. DJ puts it up and through and will go to the free throw line. Carlisle should be wearing shoulder pads and helmets out here. 23 seconds to go in your third quarter. DJ comes up and will try for the three-point play here. DJ hits 62.50% at the free throw line on the season. It's up and won't go. Rebound down to Joe Marr. Carlisle still leads it, 38-36. Marr will bring it into front court. 16 seconds to go, and they'll go for one shot. Kester has it far side, nine seconds, eight seconds. Pickering with the ball, seven. Now down to the corner. Dumps it off to Marr. And we've got double dribble with two seconds to go. The Tigers get it back. Thirty-eight, thirty-six. Column will play it in. Bring it in to Tony. He'll put it up and it hits the rim but won't go. Out the quarter. Carlisle, 38, and Grinnell, 36. We'll be back with that fourth and final quarter after this word from one of those basketball boosters. <laughs> 